Good day everybody! For today's lesson, we'll have the polygon. We will know whether that is polygon or not polygon, convex or concave polygon, and lastly, regular or irregular polygon. Now let's define first polygon. When you say polygon, it is a two-dimensional closed plane figure that is formed by three or more line segments joined at their endpoints. Now let us have an example. So I have here three sets of polygon. So as you see, these three sets are two-dimensional closed plane figure and their endpoints are joined, okay? Next, when you say not a polygon, the first example of this is this one so as you see it is an open plane figure yes it has three or more line segment but they are open plane figure making this as not a polygon so these are also a polygon the other not polygon is these two. So we can say that these two are closed plane figure. Yes, it is two-dimensional, but as you see, it is not composed of a line segment or a straight line. It is a curved line. So making this as not a polygon. Next. So these two are closed figure. Yes. As you see, this one has line segment, straight line segment, but these two are not two-dimensional. They are three-dimensional. So this two figure has length, width, and height, making these two are as not a polygon. What about this one? What makes it not a polygon? So as you see, these two lines intersect at one point, making this as not a polygon. Okay, so as, you, as we all know, polygon consists of vertices, angles, and side. Let us have this polygon. So this polygon has one, two, three vertices. Okay, and it has also one, two, three sides and we have one two three angles again this figure has three vertices three sides three angles now let us classify the other polygon by the number of sides they have so first figure or pl first polygon we call this one as triangle okay because it has three sides three angles and three vertices next it has one two three four four sides four angles and four vertices and we call it quadrilateral so quad means four next this polygon has one two three four five five sides five angles and five vertices and we call this as pentagon so penta means five next is this one one two three four five six six sided polygon with six sides six angles and six vertices we call this one as hexagon so from the word hexa which means six the other polygons are this one so this figure has one two three four five six seven so seven sides seven angles and seven vertices and we call this as heptagon okay this one it has 
eight sides, eight angles, and eight vertices. And we call this one as octagon. Octa means eight. Next. So it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine sides, nine angles, and nine vertices. And we call this one as nonagon. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 sides, 10 angles, and 10 vertices. We call it decagon. Okay? So deca means 10. So what about 11? sided polygon and 12 sided polygon so when you say 12 sided polygon it is dodecagon and 11 sided polygon and decagon now let us classify the polygon by convex or concave so when you say that it's convex a polygon is convex if no line that contains a side of the polygon contains a point in the interior of the polygon or if no diagonal is in the exterior of the polygon now let us have this polygon a quadrilateral and a hexagon so let us have this four vertices let us have the diagonal plus when you say diagonal it is a line connecting to the non-corresponding vertices okay so so this one is the diagonal and the other diagonal is this one so as you see there is no diagonal outside the polygon now let us have if we have this hexagon let's draw the diagonal for each vertices this one okay so as you see there is no diagonal on the exterior of the polygon, making this as convex polygon. What about this one? Let us draw the diagonal. Okay, so as you see, there is no diagonal outside the polygon. That is why it is called convex polygon. Next, what about concave polygon example of this we have here one two three four five six seven okay heptagon so let's draw the diagonal so the green line are the diagonals of this heptagon and as you see this diagonal and the other diagonal is lying in the exterior of the polygon. So, nasa labas siya. Making this as concave polygon. Next, we have this one. The decagon with 12 sides. Let's draw the diagonal. Okay. But, there are some diagonal outside the polygon. So, this one, two... Three, four. These four diagonals and other four diagonals touches the exterior of the polygon. So, nasa labas ng polygon yung ibang diagonal. Making this as concave polygon. Now, let us have regular or irregular polygon. When you say polygon that is regular... It is equilateral and equiangular. When you say equilateral, same measure of sides. And when you say equiangular, same angle measure. Let us have this example. If we have here triangle, so this is an example of regular polygon. Regular triangle has these three sides are equal in measure. As you see, there is a symbol which means they are congruent or equal so equal sides and equal angles and when you say a regular poly polygon so as you see the the sides are not equal also its angle are not equal 
What about if we have regular quadrilateral? So this is a square. So a square has equal angle that is 90 degree angle. So as you see, this angle is 90, 90, 90, and 90. And the four sides are also equal, making this as a regular polygon. What about irregular polygon? So as you see, this rectangle, the measure of their ang of its angle is 90, but the measure of the sides are not equal, making this as irregular polygon. And lastly, if we have this pentagon, as you see, these five angles are congruent. Five sides are also congruent. Okay. When you say irregular polygon, irregular pentagon, even though there are two pairs of equal angle measure, if you saw these lines, they are not equal. Okay? Sides are not equal. The angles are not equal. Therefore, it is irregular polygon. Thank you for watching, guys.